Hey, welcome to Fireside Tats, the official podcast of the Tattoo Improvement Network. Go to TattooImprovement.com, sign up for our mailing list. Please, do it. <laughs> uh, I'm here with uh, Tyson McAdoo. We, uh, it's kind of an unexpected interview here at Ink and Iron. We, uh, we just kind of met. I walked by his booth. He had some really cool paintings, uh, some really cool work on skateboards. And so I, um, so I asked him about doing a show with us. Uh, he's the first. No, he's not. You're the second non-tattooer of the day, actually. Yes. So, yeah. You second, don't, don't, second's the best. Yeah, that's yeah the second's best. always the best. <laughs> uh, so we were we were trying to uh, do a pre-interview, and Sean wouldn't let us. So what? Um, <laughs> so you did. Um, before we get into background and everything, sure. you did start to do a tattoo apprenticeship? Yeah, I did. Um, it, it, it was miserable. Yeah. Uh, I cried myself to sleep every night um, because I was, at the time, I had already worked for DC and Marvel, and I was really comfortable in drafting skills. You know, I could draw Wolverine and Superman and Batman. That's great. Yeah. Um, and I had started this pinup career, and so people were familiar with my stuff, and so during this apprenticeship, you know, people would be like, oh, I want, you know, one of your girls on me. And I'm like, well, right now I can uh, do uh, <laughs> a, 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 a kanji or right. a yin yang <laughs> or, you know, and so people were like, but I want, you know, and so yeah. people were expecting a lot more. And um, and even like my sister, God bless her. She was like my the second person that allowed me to tattoo her. And uh -huh. she sat down and she said, I believe in you. And she wanted like a star about the size of a dime. Yeah, I can do that, right? <laughs> right. Oh my God, it took like 45 <laughs> minutes. Not one line was straight. <laughs> right. and, uh, and it was brutal. And like, I, I felt like I was ruining these people's lives <laughs> and that had so much faith in me. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to drawing women or superheroes and whatnot, and I'm gonna let the tattoo artists do their thing. Yeah. I'm gonna do my thing, and we'll all just live really happy in the yeah. same world. I, yeah. I, I see, I understand that. Especially if you're already uh, pretty accomplished, that it's tough that you can't translate well, instantly. It, it, you're right, but it taught me so much, and um, I, everyone in that room is so damn talented to do what yeah. they're doing. Like, you know, I get like the traditional stuff. That's really hard. And then these guys that are doing like these live, these like realistic portraits, I have no idea how they're yeah. doing that stuff. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's amazing. They're it's super, come, super talented. Dude. It's come so far. And we've talked, uh, uh, basically every interview we've had today, we've talked about how how this like art focus has come into tattooing over the last 10 or 12 years where Amazing, people right? are, it's incredible. Yeah. I started tattooing in 96 and there was no way that you considered going to art school to become a tattoo artist. Right. You like, it just didn't make any sense. So like, right. you're, like you're not going to make enough no, money tattooing. No, you wanted to, to sit justify. in a tattoo shop and learn, but right. now it's just like, go to school, learn how to paint and yeah, then become and a then tattoo artist. And learn how to translate it. Right. It's, it's such a different, such a different uh, animal. So, but I brought Tyson in because he draws a lot of naked chicks and that's what I thought you guys would like to see. Uh, so what what is your actual background? You worked for DC and Marvel. Where, well, go before that. How did you? Start? Okay. Um, so my story starts off. I wanted to be a ballet dancer. Yeah. We oddly enough, right? Yeah. Uh, and so I spent 14 years of my life in ballet class, standing behind girls in tights and leotards. Um, Sounds miserable. It, it, yeah. it was when you're like a <laughs> seven year old kid. Oh, you're just oh, like, yeah. oh, girls. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, I really like to dance, and um, so that was my thing. I wanted to be a dancer on Broadway and all this stuff. Hmm. Not the not the common, you know, yeah, kid no. dream. But at 18, I broke my knees. Um, How'd you and, do that? Uh, I was dancing. Wow. And they Both just kind of yeah. At the same time, like the muscles twisted and they collapsed, and so that killed that my career. It, huh? That was it. It was done. Um, and uh, you know, when you're a kid yeah. and you draw pictures. You know, your mom and dad are like, oh, cool, we'll put it on the fridge. But when you're a kid and you dance, they're like, holy shit, this kid's the next Fred Astaire. <laughs> right. nah, whatever. Yeah. So uh, so when my knees broke, mom was like, oh, you can draw. Remember, you like to draw, so why don't we send you to art school? Uh, so I went to a, a school up in New Jersey uh, that taught us how to draw superheroes. It's called the Joe Kubert School of Comic Book and Graphic Arts. Yeah. It taught us how to draw Batman and Superman and um, animation. and uh, But no, no, like... No uh, art history. Oh! oh. Sorry, guys. That we had a feeling this was going to happen. Uh, uh, we are next to the main stage, so Tom give us one second. Shut up! <laughs> uh, so you... Um, so anyway, yeah, so I went to school, graduated, and I started working for Marvel in D.C. Um, 
and I worked there for about five years and it was great and I drew a bunch of like hairy beastly men with tights and uh that got old. Yeah. <laughs> they got old. And so the pendulum swings wide, and now I draw naked women. Yeah, yeah, really well. I just was looking at your Instagram Thanks, while we man. were in. Yeah. Um, so you, um, that's your full time? That is, uh, well, you've got. So I have a, a, a balance in life. You have to have balance. So from 10 to 6, I'm an art director and designer oh. for Cartoon Network. Oh, okay. Um, and so I do that. Yeah. And so I draw, I draw pictures for kids, make them happy, yeah. come home, eat dinner. And then I start drawing for us dirty adults. Yeah, yeah, that's a great balance. Where, uh, where are you from? Where do you live? Uh, I, I'm from Atlanta, born and raised. Okay. Uh, moved to New York when I worked for DC and Marvel, and uh, came back home because I was having too much fun in New York. Yeah. That <laughs> happens. Yeah. And then luckily Cartoon Network was there, and uh, met a guy in a bar, um, and he goes, "Oh, hey, nice to meet you. I hire guys that draw pictures. You uh -huh. want a job?" Wow. Yeah. It was so when kids in college are like, how, how do I get a job at Cartoon yeah, Network? I'm like, drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> drink that's the up. Best way, yeah. That's the best way to, to, to get any place you want to yeah, go. Yeah, right. I think. Absolutely. That's well, and I met my wife the next week in the same bar. So it's a magical oh, bar. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Crazy. Well, how did you end up, um, how did you end up drawing for Marvel in DC? Um... I would go to conventions, mm -hmm. like what we are here, but it was for comic books. And, um... I was that naive little guy who would bring my portfolio up to other artists and be like, yeah. will you look at my, will you look at, do you have a second? So and, tough to do, yeah. Oh God, it takes so much balls. <laughs> yeah. It takes so much balls. Yeah. And I did it for four years. I walked up to the same guy every year and be like, hey, will you look at it? And he'd be like, yeah, okay, work on this, work on this. Keep going, kid. Yeah, right. keep going. Uh, go away. And, uh, uh, come back the next year, show and yeah, yeah, getting a little bit better. It's the fourth year, uh, I was walking down the hallway, and I see him coming, and I just pass him. Don't even like, hey, can I show uh -huh. you my stuff? Just pass him, and he goes, hey, you're that, you're that kid that always shows me your stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, I was like, yeah, and he was like, you gonna show it? Show me your work this year? And I was like, no. And he was like, bullshit, pull your stuff out right now, let's see it. Huh. And I showed it to him. And he, he gave me the same, like, oh, getting a little bit better. <laughs> like, why did you ask? But, like, the last page was something I did the night before, and he was like, I see promise in this. And he wrote down his address, and he said, show up here on Monday. And uh, the guy gave me an apprenticeship and kind of put me under his little wing. Huh. And um, he was a he was a big-time anchor for Marvel at the time. His name was Mark Morales. And um, he still is. He's still one of their uh, legends. Yeah. And so I slowly started doing his backgrounds and filling in his um, blacks. And I just slowly took over for him. Like when uh. he started a new book, he would pass an old book to me and I would work on that. And it just, like, you know, like in a tattoo apprenticeship, you yeah. just slowly grow into work it. Work your way in. Yeah. yeah. How long did you do, do that? Uh, the apprenticeship was two years um and then dc and marvel was like four full-time years yeah. okay what made you break away from that and work on your own um uh comics is is a lonely gig like mm. you sit in your studio there's yeah. no like customers that come by you don't get to like talk shit while you're tattooing yeah. or inking um so you just do it and you um you know, it's a good living, but you're not making a fortune. You, you you can't live it up. And I was living in New York in this little tiny apartment and uh, basically working to live, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so it just, it was great and it was a dream come true, but I had to move on because I knew there yeah. was more to life sure. than sure. just that. And you've put out, uh, just walking through, you've got several products, several books now that you put out. Are you self-publishing or are you putting self publish up? Self-publish is, is yeah. the way to go, yeah. in, in my opinion. Um, you know, you... You put up a little bit up front, but you reap a lot of rewards, you yeah. know. Um, it, it started small, you know, a couple of years. My first book came out uh, eight years ago, um, and I'm on my fourth book now. It just came out, Subtract. Uh, it's been a great, like, run, and yeah. I can't wait to see where, you know, all this stuff continues to go. Yeah. What about, um, do you do a lot of tattoo shows? That it's kind of my main gig because uh -huh. when I first started, all my girls were like covered in tattoos, mm -hmm. um, and I did comic shows, and um, it, there just wasn't an audience. Uh, but I found in the tattoo community, uh, the pinup culture is a huge thing. 
pinup girls with tattoos. It was a, such a direct audience. Yeah. Uh, um, and somehow the tattoo audience and community has just kind of been like, oh, you're you're one of us. So yeah. come. Yeah. And they welcome me, and it's I'm very thankful, and it's been a it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Look, it looks like a lot of. I mean, your work. It, it, I can see how it fits in so well, and a lot of it looks like it translates well. It looks pretty tattooable. Is, is anyone tattooing any of your work? Yeah, it's there. I've seen, I've seen some good tries. Yeah. Uh, but I've also seen some amazing ones that it looks like they licked the print and just stuck it on, uh -huh. and, and like to the point where I'm like, that's, that's a little bit better than mine. <laughs> right. you know? So I've I've seen some great stuff uh -huh. um, from like you know the traditional like hardline stuff to like approaching it like a realistic portrait. Yeah. And it's and been amazing. Yeah, but, but, but that, I bet that is. I bet that is nice to to see your work translated into I, other mediums. Well, yeah, and it's amazing that this is a little doodle that I do, and then someone likes it so much that they want it on them yeah. forever. Yeah. It means a lot. It's yeah. cool. And then for, for another artist to be able to put their kind of spin on it or do something unique cool. with it, yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Where do people go if they want to uh, find you? Uh, TysonMcAdoo.com. Um, and then, you know, through that is all my Facebooks and Instagrams yeah, and all that garbage. Kind of yeah. yeah, cool. Where you got any other shows coming up from here? Um, head up to Calgary. Uh, big, big uh, conventions up in Canada. Okay. Great tattoo shows up there huh. um, in October. And then in New Jersey, uh, I'm trying my first fetish show. Oh, mm. Mm. be interested to know how that goes. Good, uh, good audience. Yeah, uh, people watching at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll Absolutely. see how that goes. I would think that your work would go over well there. I think so. Yeah, dirty, <laughs> dirty fuckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, thanks for doing it. Thanks for taking the time out. Yeah, man, and it was a pleasure. Y'all definitely, um, definitely check him out. Check out his work. I was just going through, uh, looking at some of his Instagram, and it's uh, really fantastic stuff. Thanks, everybody. Later. Thanks, Tyson.